whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That everyday adage is commonly known as Murphy's Law, but to understand where this famous quote came from and appreciate how it came about, you have to go back to the infancy of the jet age. As aircraft speeds increased, scientists sought to test a pilot's ability to survive a high-G ejection and high-speed deceleration. At Edwards Air Force Base in 1949, a team of Air Force doctors, scientists, and engineers began to use rocket-propelled sleds to test the effects of rapid deceleration on the human body. During one such test, the sensors that monitor acceleration were mounted backwards, all 16 of them. Since the results of the test yielded no data, then Lieutenant Edward Murphy noted that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Lieutenant Murphy's observations, or laws, were kept and noted by his co-workers. Later at a press conference, then Air Force Major John Paul Stapp quoted Murphy's Law to reporters. The saying caught on with aerospace engineers and the engineering community just in time for the space race of the 1960s.